Hi everybody, I have a geology project to share with you today. We are doing this excavation kit by GeoCentral. We picked this one up from Rainbow Resource and you can check the description box below for more information. Now what's neat about this particular excavation kit is that it's shaped like a volcano and you will be looking for igneous rocks. So it's kind of appropriate that they are in a mold of a volcano. And what's also neat is that you're not quite sure which samples you're going to get. You are looking for six out of a possible 12 different rock specimens. Now, when we excavate ours, I think we only found five, so we must have lost one along the way. Now, my son is 10 years old, and he decided to start this excavation by going through the top at the crater. And the first sample that he found was this beautiful obsidian rock. My five-year-old daughter is also helping along with this project. However, this time we only purchased one excavation kit, whereas in the past we have purchased multiple kits for each of the kids. But this was fine. We've done lots of different excavation kits in the past and this one was equally enjoyable. The only thing that was a little bit difficult about this one is that the tool that came with it was quite small and so it made it a little bit hard to excavate some of the rocks but we have a lot of other tools from previous excavation kits and so we pulled those out and used those alongside the tool that came with this kit. Now we ended up finding only five samples. It's possible that we lost one along the way, but once we were done, we cleaned them up, we identified them, and then before mounting them on a piece of chipboard, we decided to see if any of them floated because we knew that pumice does float. For some reason, it didn't, and we think it might have absorbed some water when we were washing the rocks after we were done excavating them. Now we decide to mount our rocks on a piece of chipboard and this is what it looks like when they are mounted and labeled. And you can see this video as well as all the other videos in our geology unit by clicking on the screen. 